So there are three places to check, or four or thereabout, to check um, looking at your contact here. First of all, you make sure that the ground is wet enough with salty water. You can see it's wet. This copper surface, right? Embedded in this plastic cover. Now, you have, you can see, the ground is wet. Then, second one is um, the steel electrode need to be heat right inside to have an interesting contact that is it then the third one is this most of the issues we have can be from here if you don't have a very grip a good grip here you have to tighten up this very well hmm? then also check him sometimes this electrode uh, cable can cut from here you see so make sure that is intact you open it up and and also you can see you also need to brush out this this green stuff you can see oxidations as a result of you know copper ions you know that is it then you come in here this is for the power i can see that the cable here is bigger than this this actually is the center this is the receiver so the actual center is the p1 uh the p2 you understand so you make sure that the contact here is okay the grip is there and also here the grip is there so having done this you want to make sure that this is firmly grounded you get it okay firmly grounded and you can see that is it so looking at this you can see this is a conventional uh, IP resistivity mode now. Uh, non porous receiver electrode. That is uh, the current wire. That is the potential wire. So, that is okay for connection at every point. So, it continues this way down can you give me that hand? continues this way so this is almost half a kilometer line you see um on the spacing of 10 centimeters this is another point and it continues so can we you see this is also wet so what do you do here you grip this uh, you can see make sure you grip this and you can also firm them with some whole digs while you are firming it you use the back of here no you can use here this way you firm it so oh. and this has to have a grip too you can hit it a bit Inside. okay that is good then you check this check that is okay right also check this that is fine this is firm then let's go to the cable leader the switcher then get to the another point um okay that's the cable the cl10 here okay this acts as the switcher let's see the points see gd10 this this uh, point needs to the arrow needs to go to the mainframe. Why this goes to the other point to the end? You know, assuming that your survey stops here, you are trying to look at maybe 120 meter length. You can lock up here, so it means that nothing goes this way. So that means that this is you can use how many number of electrodes. The more you add electrode, the more you require more of this. Okay. So if you want 300 electrode, 200 electrode, every um, at every 12 electrode, this comes in. Every 12 electrode, this comes in, depending on the configuration. So, that is it. Then, this is another point. So, what we are having here is spacing of 10 meters. So, that is the way it continues, continues all the way. That is the point there. See? All the way to 500 meters. Uh, probably 470 meters anyway. We are using about 48 electrodes here. And that is one of the guys you have here. 
one of the toughest guys we have here. Um, okay, thanks for, for agreeing. <laughs>